welcome back to the another session and sub file in your code data there are two classes we are going to discuss here class larvae ca and class thalia ca so the class larvae ca you can see the picture here is a free swimming tunicates retain most of their larval characters throughout the life hence the name larvae ca why is called larvae ca because it's retained most of the larval characters you can see a temporary loose and jelly like frequently removed and renewed uh, test is the the test is the covering is there is a transparent loose jelly like covering is there which is frequently removed and renewed a permanent tail in the adult with an autocode is present a permanent tail in the adult with an autocode is present which is absent in the class what class a cdaca but here it is a permanent tail is present Atrium is absent, pharynx is large with a single pair of gill slits, sexes are united, and larval meta meta metamorphosis is incomplete. So, there is one example that is called Oikopleura. Details of example Oikopleura. It is a solitary free swim pelagic forms and hypopleustonic larvation. What is a hypopleustonic? Pleustonic means that which swimming on the surface of the water the animals which is swims on the surface of the water is called pleustonic hypopleustonic means what just below the surface of the water so that's called hypopleustonic widely distributed in warm waters of tropical seas it's retained most of its larval characters hence the name larvaceae so it's enclosed within a loose gelatinous test called house but you can see a gelatinous test is the this is called its house it serves as a protective hydrostatic food filtering and respiratory apparatus and it has an excellent and inhalant opening for the passage of continuous current of water inhalant opening means what for the entry of water excellent opening for the exit of water it's almost microscopic and oval so it has a long ribbon like caudal appendages which is supported by an autocode you can see an autocode here is which is by which it swims oikopura is a protandrous hermaphrodite do you know the meaning of protandrous protandrous means what in this animal if the male sex organs male organ attain maturity before the female then it is called protandrous so what is prot protandrous so if hermaphrodite means what both male and female sex organ are present on the same animals uh, in that case if the male sex organs attain maturity before the female organ then it is called what protandrous so oikopleura is a protandrous hermaphrodite <laughs> So it has a larval stage called tadpole larva and this larva undergoes only partial metabolic metamorphosis and develops gonads attain sexual maturity and transform to an adult so most of the larval characters are retained in the adult hmm? neoteny means what ability to reproduce young ones ability to reproduce the larva attains sexual maturity and ability able to reproduce in the larval stages it, itself so this is called neoteny so these are the major important points of what oikopleura so this is the larvae oikopleura so you can see the tail which is continuously beating to help in swimming so the larva present larva contain what the notochord It sucks the fluid through the 
tranquil siphon Taliesia. So this is a Taliesia. So in this picture you can see the organism. This is a doliolum, one of the examples of Taliesia. It's a cylindrical barrel shaped and transparent. So there is a permanent transparent test is there. There is no tail and no autocode in the adult. So what is the difference between Thaliaceae and Larvaceae? Larvaceae, there, it retains what notochord in the adult. Larvaceae, there is a notochord present in the tail. But in Thaliaceae, there is no tail and no notochord present in the adult. Branchial and atrial apertures are at opposite end. So this is a branchial aperture and this is a atrial apertures. And this is a pharynx. Back. Or pharynx opens to the atrium by a pair of gill slits or several pair of small gill slits. The muscle fibers are arranged in incomplete or complete in circular bands. You can see the circular bands 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the muscular bands. Sexual or asexual reproduction is seen. The two important character is alternation of generation and polymorphism. So let's look at what are the details of doliolum. So this doliolum is a marine free swimming pelagic forms inhabiting tropical and temperate areas. It's a polymorphic forms. If an animal exhibits more than two forms is called polymorphic forms. In the life cycle, there is a regular alternation of generation between two morphologically different phases. There are two phases, one is called sexually reproducing solitary phases. So this is uh, solitary phases, it's also known as gona gonosoids and asexually reproducing gregaria phases. There are two phases, sexual phase and asexual phase. The sexual phase is represented by solitary phase and asexual phase is represented by gregaria phase. So the gregaria produces asexually a gonos gonosoids is produced, a larva is produced. The larva through asexual reproduction produce oozoids. So this sexual cycle alternate with the asexual cycle, asexual cycle alternate with the sexual cycle. So this keep on changing, sexual and asexual life stage keep on changing, then it is so that's why it's called alternation of generation. <coughs> the fertilized X of solitary phase, such this this one, produce a tadpole larva. It's metamorphosis into a oozoids. So this is a oozoids, barrel shaped oozoids. It undergoes budding and produce three forms. It produce three forms. That's why it's called trimorphic colony. So what are they? They are the gastrozoids, that which helps in nutrition. The forozoids, like a foster mother for the birds, which arrives later. And there is a gonozoid, which helps in reproduction. So there are three forms are the three kinds of zoids are present: gastrozoids, which helps in nutrition. Forosoids, which look after the other birds, and there is a gonosoids, which helps in reproduction. So that's why it's called a trimorphic colony. So two important characters are under doliola. One is called alternation of generation. It means gregaria phase is alternate with the solitary phase. Then it is alternate with the gregaria phase. It keep on changing. Then it's called alternation of generation. And second important point is. Let's exhibit trimorphic colony, gastrozoids, forozoids, and gonozoids. So that's it. So this is the doliola. It's found freely swimming in the water.
it's a transparent foam so you can see the transparent nature of the foams so there are two openings are there so one here the other so clear opening is there this is a branchial opening and this is a atrial opening you can see the nerve band sorry the muscle bands are there so this is a suez so exhibit polymorphic colony 